Welcome everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week I thought I would show you how to do the Instagram pop out effect in Affinity Photo. I've got two examples for you today. One of them we're just going to use one photo, some selections and masks to get the model's legs to pop out over the template here. The other example is using two photos, one for the background and then one at the front here for the pop out effect. So let's get started just with the one photo. So we'll come over here to our template. This is just a screenshot from my iPhone. So the first thing we're going to do to start off, I need to get rid of this photo on my template here and so come over here to my marquee tool and I'm just going to drag out the square on a marquee tool here. I'm just going to go a little bit further down the bottom so make sure I get a good selection. And use my arrow keys just to arrow up to get that nice and even. Okay to get rid of the photo now is command X on your keyboard and to get rid of the March and Ants command D. Okay, so we've got a nice clean Instagram template. So we're going to grab our model over here and a good little tip before we copy and paste this over is to unlock the layer over here. Using our move tool, just reduce the size before we copy and paste. It makes it a lot easier. So command C, back to our template, command V, using our move tool to move the model into position. So the goal is here that we just want her legs to pop out over the top here. So we're just going to resize and a good way to see where we want to position our model is just to reduce the opacity here a little bit to see how much of the model's legs that we want to pop out over the top of the Instagram template. Okay, we've got her right in the middle here. It looks pretty good. So on the background here, we're just gonna copy that background, Command J, and we're gonna move one copy right down the bottom underneath our template layer here. But staying with the top layer here, this is the layer that we're gonna use for our selection. Just gonna bring the opacity up a little bit more now. And as you can see, the line here of our template, we wanna select her legs below that line. Okay, so you can see a little bit better there. I'm gonna grab our selection tool and make it a little bit bigger and just move right up the top here so we can see. And using our selection tool, we're just gonna select this part of the model's legs here, all underneath what we can see this line. So once we've just got a rough selection, doesn't matter if we go over the line a little bit, once we've got a rough selection here, we can now bring our opacity all the way up. Okay, using my right and left arrow keys to resize my selection brush, I'm gonna use quite a small brush and we're gonna try and get the best selection that we can. While I'm on the inside of the selection, it is adding to that selection, and if I'm on the outside, it is subtracting. And to use the add and subtract, when I'm on the outside, I'm gonna hold my option key down to subtract, and on the inside, I'm gonna let go of my option key. We're just gonna try and get the best selection that we can around the model. Again, holding my option key to subtract here, just go round and on this side as well, option key to subtract the selection and on the inside we release our option key. Saves going up to the top here each time we wanna add and subtract. Okay, once we are happy with our selection, we can come up here to our refine tool. I'm just gonna feather it by two pixels and smooth it by two pixels and I'm gonna hit apply. Once we've done that, I'm gonna make sure I'm clicked on the background layer here and come down here to our mask layer and create a mask. Make sure we're clicked on the mask layer. I'm gonna just hold my, just gonna hold my spacebar key down to create the little hand here so I can move this down a little bit further. Okay, we can get rid of those marching ants with our command D. We can now bring our background layer all the way up to 100% and as you can see we've got some tidy up to do here. So let's make sure we clicked on our mask layer. We're going to paint in white at the moment because we've got some bits of the leg here that are missing. We're on our paintbrush tool, painting in white, small brush and I'm just going to paint those sections back in. Make sure when you do this we're on 100% and we're going to paint that back in. Any other sections that we think are missing we'll paint back in as well. Once we're happy we need to do a little bit of tidy up around here. We're going to go back to black and just tidy up around the legs here. I'm sure you guys will take a lot more time doing the tidy up so it looks really nice. I'm just going to do it fairly quickly just to give you the idea and on this side as well. 
go back to white again here just to see if I can get a bit more of that detail in there and back to black and I'm just hitting X on my keyboard to go back and forth to the different colors white and black X on my keyboard to swap these over okay once you are happy with your tidy up and as I said you guys will do a lot better job than I'm doing here just going to collapse that layer and come down here for a new pixel layer I'm going to drag that underneath our layer here that we used our mask on so I'm going to be painting in black just got my opacity uh, set up at 47 flow at 47 got my brush and I'm just going to start here and just drag down for some shadow around each of the legs here just to give it a little bit of depth I'm going to do the same over here around the shoe and just like that okay we're just going to reduce our picture here and there we have the first one guys just using one photo selection and some mask just to create that pop out effect here in affinity photo okay so let's move on to our next example which is going to be the snowboarder so we're going to come over here to our background this is the background we're going to use again using that little trick of unlocking the layer using our move tool just to make that really quite small before we go command c and command v into our template just going to move it up here and we can just resize that okay with the background here we're going to drag it down underneath our template background this time and what that does it puts it behind so you can see it fits quite nicely in our template here okay now we're going to bring in our snowboarder and again we're going to unlock the layer we're going to reduce this quite small before we go command c and command v into our template just move our snowboarder up into position again we're going to use our opacity just to reduce so we can see where we want to position the snowboarder and how big we want him in our scene so I'm going to do him quite big and right in the corner here looks pretty good bring up the opacity on this one and now we're going to select our snowboarder so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger command plus on the keyboard over to our selection tool and we're going to make a selection of our snowboarder just again resizing my brush with the right and left bracket keys I'm going to select him fairly quickly and like I said before I know you guys will take a lot more care doing your selections than I'm doing here for this tutorial just take your time and get the best selection that you can remembering you can resize your brush to get into those little tight areas make sure we've got all of our snowboarder selected again option key for inside of the selection and we can get into these little areas here as well and just going along making sure we've got the best selection again once we're happy with our selection we can hit our refine tool have a look to see if there's any areas we want affinity to have another look at if not we can just feather smooth and then hit apply again making sure we are clicked on that background the snowboard layer we're going to add our mask and that pops him straight into our photo make sure we're clicked on the background we're going to get rid of the marching ants Again, you can do some tidy up by clicking on the mask, either black and white on your brush layer to tidy up anything that you think may need a bit of a tidy up. I'm going to go straight to adding the shadow. So again, a new pixel layer, drag it over the top of the template. So we've got our pixel layer just above our template layer over to our paintbrush. We've still got our opacity at 40 and our flow at 40. We've got black selected and again, resize your brush and just paint in a little bit of shadow underneath that snowboard there so there we have it guys two different ways of creating that pop out effect in affinity photo for instagram we have the example of creating a background and adding the snowboarder and the example of just one photograph using some selections and masks to make those legs pop out over the top of the instagram template i hope you have enjoyed the tutorials this week if you did please give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing until next time i'll say to you be brave go out and do something amazing and i'll see you in the next video